All right, and right now federal aid could soon be on the way to Nashville and it's desperately needed for so many people with apartments and businesses along 2nd Avenue. Today we learned 1200 employees and more than 45 businesses were impacted by the bombing. News Force Tosin Fikile spoke with an attorney who says he's not sure when he'll go back to his building. It was like something out of, you know, a movie that was made in some type of war area. That's how Will Conway described the destruction he saw firsthand on 2nd Avenue. A lot of trees were down. There were a lot of people that were working the scene. Conway is a defense attorney whose office is in the Washington Square building. He says about 250 yards from 2nd Avenue in Commerce, the blast site. And I went down to 1st and Broad, registered with the FBI, signed some liability waivers. They brought me up to the exterior of my office. That was when he saw the damage to their space, starting in the lobby. The lobby was a disaster. Uh, almost all the windows from the ground floor up until probably the third floor of that lobby area where our atrium is, all of the glass was broken. And even more damage to offices. My law partner's office, the actual entire window became unhinged from the frame smashing her desk, her desktop. He says they weren't allowed to touch anything, just pictures for insurance. The FBI, as well as Metro, was very clear that the only pictures we were allowed to take would be inside of the actual office building. He's not sure when they'll be fully allowed back inside that building, but as for what's next? Yeah. We'll have to look at our insurance policy, and you know, I, I would imagine that uh, a bomb covers it, um, not one of those things that you look for on your insurance policy. For News 4 Nashville, I'm Tosin Fikile.